Hello. Well, I'm gonna talk about um, <clears throat> some movies I've already sort of like talked about individually and also as a whole before, but you know, it was a big anniversary uh, this year. Um, and I wanted to see it, cause it uh, on the big screen because they re-released re it this year, just as they did five years ago, but I didn't get to see that. Um, for reasons I'll get into, but, you know, um, The Godfather. Let me see the Godfather trilogy. Blu-ray set I have, and here's the Blu-ray of the new version of the third film, The Godfather Coda, The Death of Michael Corleone. I don't have the 4K version. Never got it this year, and also the one I wanted um, was always more expensive, and I know they had, like, a thing, uh, like, sales and stuff, like, on Amazon and other places, it just, I don't know, I, I guess it just didn't seem to be, uh, lower enough, and they still have a version I really wanted, like, this limited thing, though, I'm sure if I don't get it by next March, that's pretty much it, because it, I doubt it will. I will ever be able to find it anywhere that's brand new. Like, like if a seller has it, it's still wrapped. You can tell that it is. I doubt they'll have it at a reasonable price. Sometimes you're lucky and you can find something that's at a reasonable price that's still unopened. Be it like a year later or many years later. Um... So, yeah, uh, I probably will get it on 4K, the trilogy, but I just haven't so far. Just because other stuff, as you've seen, as I've gotten throughout this year that I've talked about, just other stuff I've gotten and also other things, uh, you know, happen or you need to pay more attention to more important things that, uh, to pay for, <clears throat> pay for, excuse me. And such and things of that nature, so sort of a combination of all those things. But you know, and plus I've gotten some films that I wanted to get uh, either again, like upgrade, and I give a version to you know family members or whoever or whatever would like them. Um, and some I didn't have before that I wanted, and be they in the Criterion Collection or. Shout Factory, Scream Factory, whatever, or what, any kind of label, and I got it. So that's part of the reason, and I have Godfather on DVD and Blu-ray. Um, but, you know, it's 50 years old this year. It's an excellent film. I love it. Uh, I, I, I love re-watching all these films. I know the first film is almost three hours long. Second is over three hours long. The third, the first version of the third film, is also almost three hours. But the new cut is like two and a half hours. Um, how long is it? Yeah, 157 minutes. Yeah, there we go. But yeah, it's uh, excellent film. I've already talked about it, but you know, I've even talked about my experience watching it and what I thought initially. Um, if anything, I guess what I want to say is that uh, it kind of sucks. I've never been able to watch the first film on the big screen. Uh, five years ago, for the 45th anniversary, it was playing in some theaters, but unfortunately, the theater I would I frequent. I'm able to get some uh, in the past, I think, five years or so. You know, you'll have good discounts, uh, just in general, be it old films, new films, whatever. Uh, they re-released The Godfather. I was excited. I was interested in seeing it. But, you know, it didn't really show where the theater I would go to was. You know, it's a theater chain, a Cinemark. 
And um, there's other pseudomarks like an Ankeny and um, uh, Ames or whatever. An Ankeny would be like the closest one. But one reason I didn't think anything of it was because before there had been a movie that actually played at the theater I would frequent. And they didn't really have any times. They had times for other places, but went there and, uh, you know, basically it was like a glitch. And you could go and pay for a ticket to see the film. And that's what I did, you know. So I, so there was like a glitch sometime prior to that and I thought it was another glitch happen. It's like, all right, well, fine, whatever, no, no big deal here. Well, apparently there was no glitch. What happened was they were renovating certain theaters, having brand new seats in, which are even more comfortable than the old ones. Um, so on one hand, that's nice, but on the other hand, that kind of sucks because and being like a signed up and having like a membership and being able to have like stuff and all that uh, good jazz with you know not just for the discounts and stuff but just being up to date and stuff in emails it would have been nice to have been gotten an email about the fact that you know, you know certain films won't be playing at this specific theater because they're renovating, getting new chairs and whatever. Any email I got from them, it was never anything of a sort. It was always like, what's coming soon? Like, any brand new movies, uh, any movie that's being re-released, stuff like that that's typical. Maybe some discounts that they might have coming up that would be pretty good for people to get in on at a certain time if there's a movie they want to see and there you go so because of that prior glitch they had I thought the same thing and then because I had no email absolutely no reason to expect the theater would not have the Godfather play well I got there and nope and uh It was pretty much too late to go to some other theater uh, because the movie would have already began. And I, I'm somebody who wants to see the movie from the very beginning all the way to the end. I don't ever want to come into a movie part way through, even if I've seen it before. It's like I, I it's, it'd be the first time I've seen it in a theater, and I don't want to have that experience be miss the first 20 minutes, and there you go. I, 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 that's just me. I don't want to do that. You know, now some people out there might not ever care. They're like, I'm going to see this no matter what. I don't care if I miss the first 50 or hour. I'm going to watch the rest of the movie there. Though at that point, I think, what's the point of even watching it now? Just watch it at home if you own the movie. Like I have. I've got it on Blu-ray. So I don't need it uh, to, you know, I don't need to watch it on, um, you know, at that point in a theater. So that sucked five years ago, but then I got excited this year because in, like, March, I believe? March, April? Maybe it was announced in April, yeah. March, or, or March, I, I think it was announced in March, and it was either April or maybe May. Regardless, it was in spring. That's all that's important have the 50th anniversary of this film and so I was excited like finally I'll be able to watch it nothing will stop me now and there are only an AMC theater I'm like well that's kind of unfortunate but you know there's an AMC theater not far from where I live so not the worst thing in the world unfortunately when I went to look at the various times that the film will be showing the theater near me did not have it. Now, this is a theater that has been a Carmike's before. The Carmike's, I don't believe exists. I think, I believe they got bought out by AMC because that's what that theater is now. It's an AMC theater. 
But, um, yeah, this movie uh, was not coming out near where I lived, and that really sucked. The closest I could go to see it in a th theater was at an AMC theater in Cedar Rapids, Iowa. Being from Des Moines, that's like a two and a half hour, three hour drive, you know, depending on traffic. And I'm like, yeah, no, that's not even going to work. Uh, because, you know, it was like, I believe it was like at five o'clock in the afternoon. And the movie's about three hours. So, you know, it'd be like around, it were 8.39. Because you have to wait a bit and there's some stuff. They don't really play trailers for these films generally. You know, sometimes they might for like do re-releases and stuff so that but that doesn't usually that's not that long maybe uh, at max 10 minutes added so it's nothing really too e e extraordinarily long um, so you know there's all that but then there's also um, you know they have a I, I believe they had a special uh, uh, opening for an ending with like I don't know if it's Fathom events but I pro I'm pretty sure if I recall correctly it's been a while since I looked up up this because again this was months ago and plus I didn't get to see it so uh, with the realization I wouldn't get to see it on the big screen I was completely disappointed and therefore just didn't really care about it or whatever else they had to write about it because like well, I'm not seeing it, so what do I care? That was kind of like my attitude for a bit. Uh, sort of in a way to cope with disappointment of second time in a row, it's being re-released, and I can't watch it. Because either it's not playing near where I live, or it is, but by the time I could get there, there's going to be a portion of the movie that's already been played, and... I've missed it, and I want to experience the entire thing from beginning to end. I don't want to have to miss out on whatever and then just watch the rest of the movie. That's that For me, that would be disappointing, especially since the movie is almost three hours. I think if you're going to watch a film like that in the theater, you, want, you should probably have the idea of, I'm going to watch it from the beginning to the end, and I'm not going to come in part way through uh, you know I'm not gonna uh, that's not me uh, maybe that's not you either but regardless just the, the trials and tribulations I guess of trying to see this film on the big screen that was unfortunate um, still haven't been able to and I don't know when I ever will, hopefully if they ever re-release it again, be it for the 55th anniversary or anywhere in the next couple of years. Uh, Godfather is a huge film that I can't imagine they wouldn't want to ever miss out on an opportunity to make money theatrically of showing it. So I like, oh, pray that they will uh, re-release the movie again. Uh, and that's really all I can kind of do at this point. Um, but two years uh, after my first attempt, so that'd be like three years ago, I did see Godfather Part Two on the big screen because by that point, all the theaters had brand new chairs and absolutely no construction necessary or, or what renovation, I guess that would be more accurate. You know, and none of that was needed um so you know that was a cool experience honestly i liked seeing that in the theater uh great, great film uh still part one though has always been my favorite of them all i know two is the most popular and i and i get it i don't it's not lost on me why people love two but i've just always loved one um uh, so much so I want to see it in a theater. That would be a movie that would be completely worth watching on the big screen. I know a lot of people say streaming and all this stuff, but 
seeing a film like The Godfather in the theater would be amazing. It, 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 that's an experience, I think, that if you have an opportunity to see, like you have absolutely no plans, you have enough money to see a movie in a theater, and uh, you, you're completely free for a good chunk of time that the entire film will be playing on, uh, or during, I guess you should say, that, then, you know, I'd say go see it. You know, I definitely would. You know, I made sure I'd like, yeah, free him with the day or days that would be there. And I'm like, and first time's like, I, I, I wanted to see it, but no, it's in some other town that's pretty far away. And I had, <laughs> I actually known that, no, it, there is a reason this uh, was not playing at the, at that theater they're doing some uh renovating in the theaters with the chairs had i known any of that and had that glitch never occurred uh, i can't even recall the movie i guess that just shows you how amazing that film <laughs> was to me that i saw in the theater but you know that happened once prior and it was playing there so i thought well, this glitch happened again, unfortunately. That sucks. Hopefully they'll get their sight fixed and their app, all that stuff, uh, good to go. But no, I, yeah. I know that seems more like a rant, but if anything, I hope this just sh shows how much I love The Godfather so much that I wanted to see this five years ago in a theater Things happened that just led to me not being able to. Wanted to see it this year, but they're only playing in, in only one theater chain. And the theater that of that chain that is near where I live wasn't playing it. And the only like AMC theater closest to where I live is two and a half, three hours away. And, you know, now had I known somebody that lives in or around Cedar Rapids, maybe that would have been a different case. And yeah, I'd watch it in, uh, in the theater and then, and then stay the night there and come home, you know, next, next day or morning, you know, but that was not the case. Um, It's just unfortunate. Um, yeah, it's... Um, but, you know, I really love this movie. Uh, it's, an, it's an incredible film about family and, of course, the mob and business dealings and other such uh, activities going on and it's an excellent film i i love it i love this film wholeheartedly uh i love this trilogy honestly the trilogy is excellent and um no doubt i showed this before but there's the back So this will be me just celebrating the 50th anniversary of The Godfather at the end of the year. I meant to talk about this way earlier, but I also plan to see this in the theater, which we all know didn't happen. Keep your friends close, but your enemies closer, like Michael Corleone said. And on the inside, Don Corleone. I'm gonna make him enough that he can't refuse. And then you yeah, just do that. And then everything comes out. This is a uh, 
so cool. Oh. Like little trivia things with answers and such. And that's uh, supposed to be planted in there. It can't really get it out unless you're gonna rip that open. And there you go, there's like the book. So there's that, and then there's uh, this magnetized uh, uh, like phrases, which I've just left in there like this because why not? And back, you know, there's trivia cards, quote cards, magnetic poetry is, is what they call this anatomy of a scene. There's the magnets, there's the, the trivia cards. And then there's the what were like quotes and pictures. I know it was you, Fredo. Do you know who I am? Mo Green. I mean, my bones when you were going out with cheerleaders. Do you know how you naive you sound? Senators and presidents don't have men killed. That's what Kay Adams says to Michael. Yeah. Leave the gun. Take the cannoli. That's what Clemenza said. And, uh, take the cannoli. Oh, sorry. Take the cannoli was... Uh, Improvised because that was in the script. What was in the script was take uh, leave the gun, but you know, the wife told him to get some cannolis. And well, when a wife, uh, I guess especially an Italian wife, but you know, just a wife in general, tells you to get something to bring back home, you know, you, you not only get that thing, but you make sure it gets home. Um, Luca Brazzi. Hope that the first child will be a masculine child. I, I pledge my ever-ending loyalty. That's what Luca Brasi said, and then this is Peter Clemenza also. It's a silly message. It means Luca Brasi sleeps with the fishes. No Sicilian can re uh, refuse any request on his daughter's wedding day. We don't just, we don't discuss business at the table, Sonny Corleone. Never hate your enemies; it affects your judgment. Michael Corleone. Oh, I'm sorry. Never hate your enemies; it affects your judgment. A man who doesn't spend time with his family can never be a real man. Don Vito Corleone. I love these movies so a lot. This is always a fun thing to try to get back on this. They come off easily, but yet when you try to put it back on, it's not so easy. And then there's like this 45 years of the Godfather. And all this stuff. The Godfather Collection on Digital HD. And then you 
these Funko Pops, which I have never collected. And this cool Godfather watch. Or watch that's inspired by the Godfather, at least. Godfather Family Dynasty app game. Godfather the board game. An offer you can't refuse, just card and detective style game. The Godfather the New Dawn. Yeah, another game. Yeah, as well as the offer you can't refuse. Uh, Empire. Godfather bootlegger. No need to work in a distillery to age and season your favorite spirits like a pro. So there you go. Uh, not sure uh, this is really much of a thing still, though I would like those uh, Godfather glasses. Those would be cool if I have. Um, here's the anatomy of a scene, which is most famous scenes of the whole film, which is just the overall of the shooting script, which it has the script and then which I actually have uh, a book which pretty much has like the like a big like script, sort of like a big making of thing and whatever but it's pretty cool it's over there though it's buried under some stuff so I think this scene is my favorite of the of of the film. Such a huge and important moment, um, uh, just for pretty much everybody, you know, uh, Michael especially, but just just in getting things, you know, really going with the story in the film. It's just such an incredible scene. Uh, I've always loved it. And then, discs and more quotes never let anyone else say the family you know what you're thinking Don Corleone it's not personal it's strictly business says Michael Corleone it's cool that these uh, have these uh, quotes and then Godfather Godfather part 2 Godfather Part 3, and then the special features, which has both, at the time, brand new and archival from the previous DVD uh, uh, set of the trilogy. Overall, this is a pretty um, excellent set. Trivia cards in here, which I know I didn't really show him much, but you know, considering how it's not all that fun to get them all back in with the this thing on, then I'll just let that be and make sure to have. scene there and then the magnets and yeah this video went on a little longer than I expected but whatever I love this uh, trilogy excellent films and uh, yeah 
great set um and i and from what i've uh, read and seen online the new the 4k versions seem to be just as excellent uh as ever so that's always great and i believe uh, they have yeah they have this in 4k uh, i don't know about the original godfather 3 I think it might, I'm pretty sure that's on the set, of the new 4K set. Um, but I had a feeling because the 50th anniversary was coming up uh, around the time this came out, they were going to wait until the whole trilogy could be in 4K to release this. And um, yeah, I still like part three, regardless if it's this film or the or this version or the original version. Though this version has been growing on me, so I think that's uh, pretty good at least. Um, but I've still always enjoyed uh, Part 3 as it is. It's an epilogue. It was always supposed to be an epilogue, but I think this film, or this version, really shows more of how uh, of a, much of an epilogue that the third film was always supposed to be. And yeah... So, yeah, uh, I'm just showing off my fondness for The Godfather again. Uh, definitely uh, one of the greatest films of all time. One of the greatest trilogies of all time. And, yeah, I just, I just love these films. I love the original in particular. But, uh, yeah, I just want to give more of my fondness to the uh some movies i enjoy and uh i hope this wasn't a complete uh waste of time uh, uh in your in your guys's view uh, but yeah i just wanted to share my uh fondness and love for uh not just the first film but the whole trilogy so i hope that's fine with you all and i hope this video was pretty decent overall and um i hope all of you are doing well and we'll have a you know great weekend and week i'll see you all next time please take care bye